So what we're doing out here today is that uh, the Capital Power um, is a company that uh, we had tried to engage with early on. Um, talks broke down in August of 2012. I took it to our Confederacy Chiefs Council who issued a cease and desist order against this company for failing to engage with the Haudenosaunee. And so um, things have been pretty quiet. We've written them, I think, the last correspondence in September. Um, they failed to respond, and so we're here today to um, enact that cease and desist order that was um, put through our Confederacy Chiefs Council, which becomes law for the Haudenosaunee people. That's our law. So we're here to enforce that law today and to make sure that they stop any kind of construction, any kind of activity on this site until they're willing to sit down and engage in good faith with the Haudenosaunee. Hey, can you just quickly, uh, very briefly explain to people who the Haudenosaunee are in, in, in relation to uh, Ontario, for example, or Canada? You want to do that one or you want me to? Mm. Yeah, we're, <clears throat> yeah, we're a, a government's been here for about 2,000 years. We've been an active, um, we were in a government long before the European even got here. So over the years, the federal government uh, made treaties with us. We're the signatories to all the treaties. They're uh, got to the point where they don't want to deal with us anymore because of the resources we sit on the land and uh, they want us off. This is a good example of that. They don't want to make agreements with us. They just steamroll over us. So in 1924, they enacted a, <coughs> a band, elected Band of Indians Council to uh, replace the Iroquois Confederacy as the government, and when they refused, they marched in with the Mounties and enforced it. So that's the way it's been ever since. They enacted an <coughs> order in council and the cabinet that the Confederacy was no longer the government. But we've been a government all these years. We were governed every month we meet. And we continue to do is our laws, our natural laws, our treaties, everything that we have, we still function. And, and it's too bad it has to come down to this all the time. It's, we don't want to listen to us, so it comes down to us enforcing on the ground direct action against them. Or at what point they're going to try and come criminalize us through their law with uh, <coughs> orders from their judges. So. Uh, we are pretty much up to date with what has occurred here in I think it's important too, when we, when we talk about the, the Confederacy Council, the Wisneo and Jage that, that the Peacemaker put together, and, and like Chief Bumbry said, it's like thousands and thousands of years old. There's no, um, you can't put a date on it. Um, and the difficulty that we face is because we don't have any treaties within Canada. We ha our treaties are with the British Crown. And so Canada has assumed that responsibility, supposedly through the federal government, like he said, but there's a, there's a total uh, breakdown of, um, of any kind of relationship because we don't know what our relationship is with Canada and they continue to always deal with the banned councils. And so what, what I don't know more, what I see I don't know more has done is there's been a resurgence again, just like at Ganastaro, the, the, the traditional governments throughout Turtle Island are, are really standing up and, and demonstrating that we're not going to continue with um, with being oppressed and and so this movement here today is re I don't know more is doing exactly what it's it, it's in original intent to do is to support the traditional government that's how I see it anyway and so this action here today is is to make sure that people out there especially developers when they're coming into Haudenosaunee treaty territory then they have to respect the process that the Haudenosaunee have in place and when they refuse to, then we're forced to take steps like this. And it, it's a long process. We went to council twice to make sure. First in August, we were given a temporary cease and desist order. They respected it up until they started. They just ignored and they started digging roads and, and, and they're going to proceed in, in ignorance of what we have said. And so from August to January, we gave them time. We've written letters. They've refused to respond. And so we're here today to make sure that they understand that they're not going to be able to walk around or step on our Confederacy. So at, at what at one time they <laughs> at one time you feel that they did 
for a certain well, we at one point they were engaging with us, but when okay. they come to the table with closed minds and ears, and, and like they come there with take it or leave it attitudes, it's a similar type of thing because they're used to dealing with band councils, they're used to dealing within the confines of uh, the Indian Act system. We're not in that system. We're not in a cl land claims process. We're not in any of that. We're within the law of the Haudenosaunee, within the Gaila Goa, within our structure of the the, the Confederacy, the Wisniew and Jage, and so. When, when these foreign companies or whoever these companies come in here, they try to force us into the box. And we're saying to them, no, we're in this circle over here. We're staying in this circle. If you want to engage with us, then you're going to engage with us in accordance to our laws, our principles, our policies, and that they're going to respect them. Um, so. What's the, uh, just, <laughs> just in general, so people realize, like say someone's watching this from southern United States, like, what's the region of the Haudenosaunee? Like, what's your borders are? Oh, um, well, I can tell you what we're not. We're not restricted to any areas. The, uh, the Haldeman Tract is one of those areas of the 1784. But um, our, Turtle Island is our homelands. Turtle Island is, is we, were, we were born here. This is, this place, we, 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 we've been birthed here. Anybody else within Canada are foreigners here. So no matter what, this is our home. We have no place to go. So the whole of Turtle Island is our homeland. We have treaties though. The last treaty with the Crown was a 1701. It's um, co commonly referred to as the Treaty of Albany, Nanfan Treaty. And uh, that jurisdictional bound, you'll have to ask Chief Bumber, because I know it's huge. It takes up most of Southern Ontario. It goes from all around the lakes. Like, I don't know how to describe it to you. I could show you on a map, but I'm not good at describing the boundaries, but it's not we're not certainly not restricted to any Indian reserve. We're not restricted to the Haldeman Tract. Our boundaries go beyond that. Okay. We have Haudenosaunee communities throughout North America. There's some Onondaga, New York, in Syracuse. We've got Oneida, Wisconsin. We've got um, Tayendinaga. We've got uh, Wata. We've got Cayuga Lake over. It's a, what they consider the border. It's on the, in the American side. So Haudenosaunee territory, Seneca territories over around. Uh, We'll Tonawanda, you got Salamanca, <laughs> like the Haudenosaunee are throughout North America and so when we, no matter where we go, we're home. Oh. That's right, huh? Good job, good job. Um, so you're saying that the, the, the treaty with the Crown was assumed by the government of Canada. Well, we don't know that because nobody has ever, like Canada, tried to, in 1982, enact, enact a constitution. And they failed to do that. The only thing that they have is a constitution act. They're not a country. They're not a government. They have a constitution act, so they're acting as a, as a government. And so what the Queen and, and uh, what do you call it, uh, the Meech Lake thing was another thing where they tried to just bypass all the traditional people. And what Meech Lake did is they were reminded that they have to, to, they have to make right with the treaties, like the, the native people. And so um, the Haudenosaunee don't get caught up in with what Canada does because we don't know what our relationship is with them. We continue to assert our territorial rights, our treaty rights, um, and, and whether Canada wants to, uh, to abide or to, to respect them, it's up to them. But our, our nation isn't dependent on any other nation. Our nation is strong, it's a united nation. We, um, we are not dependent on Canada or anyone else to determine who we are because that was given to us by Sangway Adiso. Uh, how, is, how is this connected with Idle No More? Is it Idle No More? Well, Idle No More was started because of things like this, because of things like Gunnestado. I don't know more is not about anything about, you know, what happened, like even with First Nations, AFN and all those things. It's about the traditional governments. It's about the, the I don't know how you want to say it, Ongwe Hoi people is what it is. It's not First Nations, it's not um, band councils, it's not those things. It's about the Ongwe Hoi nations. And the Ongwehoe nations throughout the world are saying they've had enough. They've had enough of oppression and depression of the, of the, uh, the actions of, of the Crown and trying to uh, enforce their policies and laws through the Indian Act system. So Idle No More is truly about enforcing and upholding the laws like what, what, the, what the Confederacy <laughs> has within uh, what Sangwai Adiso provided for us through that Wisniew and Jage, within the Gaianala Goa. That to me is what Idle No More is about. So is this Idle No More protest? This is a, uh, I, no, it's not a protest. We're here enforcing Haudenosaunee law. We're not here protesting anything. In other words, someone has come onto your land and you're standing on your land. It's our treaty territory. We've, we've, uh, we've written them, we've advised them, and the Chief's Council, through law, in our council, 
ordered a cease and desist order against this company for failing to engage. Who is this company? Capital Power is the name of the company. And it's headquartered out of uh, Alberta? I think so. Yeah. yeah. They have offices in Toronto, but their headquarters are in Alberta, I believe. And what are they doing? What are they proposing? This is uh, wind, wind, uh, wind tower companies. They're part of the Grand Renewable Energy Project, GREP, Samsung. There's a few partners in the GREP is what it's called, the Grand Renewable Energy Project. And so Capital Power is one of those projects. Samsung is still engaged with the Haudenosaunee and, and we're trying to work things out with them. This company has refused. 